Well, good afternoon. I'm back in the Three Maple shop. I wanted to show you this jib crane I made. And basically, the original use of it was to get the chucks off and on of this Clausing 8000. They're pretty heavy, and my old back just don't like it anymore. So we'll go over it. I'll go over you how I made it, how simple it was, and actually how cheap it was. And some of the things I've come to use it for, besides taking off the chucks and putting the chucks on. So we'll go over that as we go along. So we're looking up at the ceiling. This unit hangs from the ceiling. And you can see what it is. All it is is a mobile home axle. Any axle out of any trailer would do. But this one was off a mobile home. It was cut off at about, well, here you go, 20, 22 inches from the bottom of this. But th here's the axle. Here's where the springs would have bolted, and the U bolts would have gone around to act as shackles to hold the springs on. There was a four inch drop. And here's the, the backing plate for the brakes, which have been removed, and there's a brake drum. And up here, this one had bolts on it. It was a, uh, a bolted axle, a bolted, a bolted rim onto the hub. So this uh, aluminum plate is simply bolted through from the back in four places because it had four bolts on it. And then bolted up into Unistrut, which is then lag bolted into the uh, Joyce's. At the most, 400 pounds. So this is plenty strong enough. So basically what I've done is bored a hole through this axle just up from the bottom. And then inserted a pipe. This is like a 3 16 wall. I think it's an inch and a half pipe. Yeah, actually it's a 2 inch pipe. Uh, through the hole with a brace that comes down from up here welded in to give it the strength it needs. And then uh, you can see the wiring came down for the electric uh, winch. It's very simple. And then uh, the winch itself is a pretty cheap Chinese winch. But again, we're not going to lift great weights with it. 400 pounds is probably as much as it'll ever do and I think it's rated for 1500. Um, I made it so it will just slide. It's not, it doesn't wheel, but it will slide. So you can, if you want to put something on the lathe in a different position, you can. I, I set it that way to put my, uh, my true trace up onto the compound. So that's all there really is to it. And uh, gosh, it's awful nice. It's, uh, you can lift things onto the lathe. I've got it set up so it'll go onto one of the bridge ports. I'll show you that. I can move things over to the bridge port. I can pick it up off the floor if I want and put it up on the bridge port or up on the lathe. It's a pretty nice little setup. So here's the adapter to take the chuck off with. It's pretty simple. It's just, uh, as you can see, two pieces of pipe with a, a plate between them so that it's actually cantilevered out so it'll, it'll lift it straight up and down. And it's just a matter of, you can see, and then take the uh, quarter turns off and it pulls right out. So here's my four jaw chuck and this is a heavy chuck. So if I wanted to uh, put it on the lathe, it usually sits right here on the bench. Swing it around. If the three jaw chuck wasn't on there, it would land right where it ought to be. That's all there is to it. I'm taking it off, put it back on the bench. Another heavy object that we quite often have to move in the shop is the old super spacer. You know, ten years ago they weren't so bad, but now it's kind of heavy. So. Put it over on the bridge port. Just swing it over. And if I want it on the other bridge port, I've got a, a uh, cart. I can pick it up, just set it on the cart, take it over, even it out on with the uh, table, and just slide it across. There you have it. There's your overhead jib crane for about 150 bucks. Uh, one trip to the chiropractor probably cost you more than that. Thanks for watching.